This morning, we've received some very queer text messages, strange text messages that democracy has delivered in Ghana and elsewhere. What did democracy deliver in Ghana? In a period of two years, what democracy has delivered is that prices of food have gone up by 300%. That is what democracy has delivered in Ghana. What has democracy delivered in Ghana? In the last elections, nine people died. There has been no effort to find out those who killed them and to punish those who killed them. That is what democracy has delivered in Ghana. What democracy has delivered in Ghana is Ayawasu West Wogon. And I, when I go to Ayawasu West Wogon, and I see the people who have lost their limbs, people who can no longer work in their lives, people who have lost their eyes and so on, I begin to wonder what I, this is what democracy is about. And I sit back and say, Ayawasu West Wogon has been investigated by some of the most eminent citizens of our country. The Committee of Inquiry was chaired by no other than Justice Emil Short, who used to chair the, the, the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice, had a former Inspector General of Police as member, a sitting Supreme Court judge was a member. What happened to the Ayahuasca West Wagon investigations and the report? Is that what democracy is supposed to deliver? I don't know. And then we are talking about our economic conditions. After 19 years, and I mean 19 years, of the rule of Mr. Rawlings and his PNBC, in 2000, when they had to hand over, money supply had gone up to 48% money supply. Inflation was hovering around 50%. I hope you understand what I'm saying. That, at least the last eight years of that regime, of the 19 years regime, was under this so-called democracy. What did it deliver? Today, in Ghana, look at the economic indicators. Look at the economic indicators. We just had the mid-year budget review. Look at the economic indicators. Inflation. It's jumped past the 40% mark. As a matter of fact, it went beyond the 50% mark. Look at the rate of depreciation of the city. Today, as we sit in the studio, we will come to that. Sanitary parts are described by our government as luxury goods and therefore subjected to extraordinary taxation. This is what democracy has delivered for us. You understand? We are running a near bankrupt nation. We are running a nation in which hmm, you need 128% of total national revenue in order to cater for three line items. Debt repayment, debt servicing, and public sector emoluments. Is this what democracy has delivered for us? All the craving about democracy and its dividends and so on. Are these the dividends of democracy? I just wonder. 